Hey guys, glad you joined me for this video. This video may change the way you think about crappy fishing and the lures you use. So stay with me and I hope you enjoy the video. special video on insect larvae and how crappy relate to those today. So when we're talking about uh, insect larvae in the water, there are uh, multiple types of insect larvae in the water and I'm not going to go all over all of those. I'm going to go over the ones that I have seen in crappy that I think that I have uh, matched. I've been waiting to do this video for a long time. Uh, we found some insect larvae in some crappy one time and I've been looking for the specific bait and Lake Country Baits makes a bait that's very similar to what I found in the crappy and I'm going to show you those baits today and uh, and this may help you change the way or the change the baits that you use at certain times of the year and so the larvae that I think I found is an alder fly and an alder fly will lay his eggs on leaves and around uh, waterways, those eggs will drop off into the water and be a larvae, and some of them will stay two to five years in the water system, and they'll swim around, and I think crappy really key in on them. Uh, you also have the Dotson, the Dotson fly uh, that lays eggs, and that becomes a Helgamite, and then it hatches, and, and the cycle continues on. Now, I'm not going to get into all the types of insects found in the water, but this one I found, I've been trying to match. And uh, so right here is a picture of what I think it is. This is an uh, uh, alder fly right here. And uh, this is a picture I got off the internet. They could be some color variations depending on water color. And this is the, is the alder fly, or what I think is an alder fly larvae that we found in a crappie. Now, as most insect larvae, uh, once it's in a crappie's belly, belly once it's in a crappy's belly, it begins to deteriorate very, very quickly. Uh, and so you may have seen this. Hey, comment below if you've seen this in any uh, of the crappy that you've caught. Uh, and this is very unique. Once I've seen this, I've always known that crappy probably eat uh, aquatic insects, but never have I found one in a belly of a crappy. So these lures were sent to me uh, from Dennis from Lake Country Baits. He makes his own baits. Uh, check his website out. I'll link it below in the uh, description and also across the bottom of the screen right here. And Dennis also has a YouTube channel called uh, Fishing Lake Country. Check out that. A lot of times in these videos, he will feature some of the lures that he is making. There's nothing better than making your own lure and going out and catching a fish with it. So check him out. So as we go along today, I'm gonna show you some of the baits that Dennis sent me from Lake Country Baits. And he sent me a bunch of them to try out. I'm not gonna try them all today. We're gonna key in on those baits that look like that insect larvae today. That's what we wanna key in on. And uh, so hey guys, stay with us. I hope you enjoy the video. Well, it is possible that the wind may cooperate uh, it's slacked up a little bit so let me show you what I did uh, so there's that mini bug there I've got a 32nd on there I wish I had a 164th and I put a fairly good size weight above it I have marked my brush pile the winds puffing around pretty hard so I elected to throw out a buoy marker so hey let's turn around and see if we can catch a fish Boom, first cast, just say first drop. There's the bug right there, boom. And that is a good crappie, that is 11 inch crappie right there. The 
sun's on that, let's throw that bad boy back. Now you notice the sun is out on that. See all those little legs sticking around and out? It's got a little leg here on the side. I mean, to me, that looks just like an aquatic insect. There, look at all that. Man, them, that crappy jumped on it. When it was going down, it was several fish moved right in on it and ate it. Let's go catch another one. So basically my presentation is to get within about uh, five to eight feet. And I'm trying to drop this lure down right beside of the brush, not right in on top of it. Notice those crappie are down that brush a little deeper than they were the other day. So I'm trying to let that lure go right down beside of the brush. I think he got that on the fall. I didn't even feel a bite. There's that bug again. Boom. You know, that's a nine inch crappie. Boom. Okay, I hope I can get, okay guys, I hope I can get through this. Uh, the wind's puffing kind of bad. I hope you can see and hear this okay. But I'm going to go quickly through these colors of bait. Now, this is the bug color wow. Now, these are inch long. That's my finger. And you can see that these are very small. And that bug larvae that I got was about an inch long. So this is the bug wow color here. This is a test color that Dennis sent to me. I like it. I like it a lot. It's a good color. Looks natural color. This is the bug color earth right here. Boom, bug color earth. Now this is the color here. This is the brim and a bug color. I like that too, nice natural color. And hey, you gotta have some sunshine. That's the sunshine for more dingier water. And all these colors, uh, I like all these natural colors. I asked for natural colors just because of what that bug color looked like. And I'm going to probably start out with this brim and this earth. Uh, this green and this gray is what I'm going to start out with. Now, quickly, I didn't. I need some 164th heads. I do not have any heads that are really small enough for these. So I'm going to start out. That is a 32nd. This is the 32nd. Uh, most of my jig heads are 16ths. I'm going to pair this probably with this or you just use a bare hook. Now, I'm doing this in this cove right here showing you these colors for the simple reason when I get on the lake, the wind is puffing today and you will not be able to hear me very well talk. So I'm going to try to do all my talking, show you these colors, these lures. Um, and then once out on the lake, I'll kind of show you the rig I have set up. Uh, because the sound is going to be horrific out there the way the wind is puffing. Now, I have some fish that have been lethargic down here on some vertical structure. Now, I'm going vertical, to vertical jig these uh, bugs. I've got some really clear water, and I, every time I go to it, those crappy are really finicky. So I'm going to try this bug out, and I have an idea that this smaller bug that looks like a water lar larvae is going to be the ticket uh, to catching these fish. So anyway, hey guys, let's go catch the fish.
they are pulling i'll say one thing about this jig they're pulling it in so easy you can't hardly feel a thump there he is again boom there's that bug again another decent quality crappy now i've now i've actually came up to the lake the water it, it rained here in the past few days, so the water's got a little dens to it. Actually, that's great. And uh, I'm fishing a spot that gets fished a lot, and many times these fish will get finicky. So I want to try this bug out on these fish, because sometimes I come up here and they just, they hit it the lure, they just won't eat. Just because, I mean, I fish in this area and I see boats pull up here and they fish it. They sit on it for two or three hours with minnows and other baits. And, so anyway, I'm going to give them another presentation, that is the bug, and uh, just see how they react. And I got bit pretty quick, and it's a good crack. Let's pull him up here. So you can see, uh, there's that bug. Oh, good crappy. And that was pretty quick. And lots of times if I have a, a minnow looking lure on, sometimes uh, they hit at it and you have to fish with them for a while. So let's go catch another. another fish off of that. Now these fish are lethargic here but you can see old bug pulled him out and uh oh oh and check out my new pliers you know every time I now you get those crappy and it's hard to get a hook out cast masters finally bought myself a really good pair of pliers. Well, well, let me give you an update. So I fished that log under the water, caught some brim and some really small crappies, nothing really that big. There wasn't really any crappie really hanging around. I'm gonna check this boat dock behind us. I'm gonna just vertical jig around the uh, structure and uh, just try this jug, just try this bug out around the dock. Well, not quite what we're looking for, just a little small crappy. Just goes to show you this bug will work around uh, around these docks. So let's go up and see if we catch another one. Uh, got me all up under the dock. It's a good one, y'all. Joker went wow. Hit me all around the boat, boat motor in there. Uh, you know, if I was fishing docks with these bugs, I would probably change my split shot, and I'll show you that. Uh, so that's a good crappie. That's a good 10 and a half, 11 inch crappie. I still got that heavy weight on so basically what I'm doing in the slip I'm just pitching up into the slip keeping the rod tip real high and allowing that to, to float slow if I don't get bit I just let it sit there and uh, let those legs just sit there and work in that current I'm gonna try to tuck up right behind this dock the wind is puffing pretty hard out there so I want you to be able to hear this 
Uh, so if you decide to use these bugs, you're trying to mimic a, a aquatic larvae of some sort of bug, I would use them during the warmer seasons of the year, say from early May, uh, late April, early May on through into the fall, uh, because that's probably when the aquatic bugs are more active. That's just my opinion, that may not be so. And in a more clear water setting, that's what I really was looking forward to using these in a really clear water setting and maybe even downsizing your line to maybe a two pound test. So anyway, again, uh, we appreciate Dennis sending me these baits. Uh, he and I is gonna, he and I are aiming to do a video together and uh, you can find his baits at Lake Country Baits. That's www.lakecountrybaits.com. I think I have that right. I'll put it in the description below. He's got all sorts of baits that he makes. Hey, look him up. He also has a Fishing Lake Country YouTube video, just like I do. And uh, hey, give him a look. And he lots of times fishes with these new baits that he's making and actually goes out on the water and puts them to the test. And uh, so check those videos out if you're interested. Give him a shout out, give him a chance to sell you some baits. Hey guys, we appreciate all the support we've been getting for this channel. Hey, don't forget to click that subscribe button below, subscribe to the channel. Click that like button, hit that notification bell so you don't miss an episode of Wildlife Adventures. And as always, you remember, it's a wildlife and I'll see you on the water.